Now can I rest? Operate the hyperdrive complete. Oh, he's just sprinting on and on and on. Go to Zion's memory square. Hi. She really struggles to pick things up. The Zion. Number three. The Zion. Prophet Oracle rewards sentinel warriors. Oh, I've got a scroll bar. We must pay respects to the fallen sentinels who gave their lives for Zion. An award ceremony for 17 sentinels under the watch of Sentinel Captain Man was held today in the presence chamber. Three members who died in the Great Desert received gold stars, Sentinel Captain Man received a silver star, and the remaining 13 received bronze stars. In his commemorative speech, Captain Man said, We've lost many comrades in our fight with the Nativas. They were true warriors. He gave credit to his former soldiers by adding, The remaining sentinels will do the work of many and ensure their sacrifice wasn't in vain. Meanwhile, armed assailants broke into the ceremony and why? And caused chaos, shouting that citizens are being silenced and brutally massacred. It tarnished the shine on this glorious ceremony. Measures will need to be taken regarding these anti-colony criminals. What the hell? What is wrong with people? Can't we just have a freaking funeral in peace? Angel, I heard you contributed to resolving the problem. Why are you calling me Angel? Keep it up, and do what you can, as long as it benefits Zion. God, Eve's hair has a life of its own. It's so unrealistic. <laughs> it's so clunky. Uh, angel, I'm low. A uh, sentinel. Why do they call her Angel though? The current situation in Zion is desperate, but I believe you'll be able to save us. Can't buy any drugs. Rude. Angel, the Sentinels are watching you. Oracle has allowed you to enter the city. However, that doesn't mean that you... Bye. I didn't need to listen to your threats. feel better now that we're outside. Somebody gets claustrophobic. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ava, can I ask you for a favor? You're asking me for many favors. I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Can you give me directions to both locations? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. Citizens' requests. There are people in this world who need Eve's help. Listen to their stories and complete the requests to be rewarded. You can swipe down to open the missions list here. You can read the submissions. Huh, so I can. But I don't have a map. So what direction is that in? Talk to the owner of Sister's Junk. Oh, I don't even have the drone. Okay, well, this could get interesting. I'm going to get very, very lost. Well, I just wanted to rest at a place where I could, like, save. Oh, there's nobody here. Oh, hello. Jesus, Eve. You don't have to be so violent all the time. Are you looking for sister's junk? Yes, I am. Please, tell me. Where is it? Sir. Keep going down this road till you see the stairs on the right. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen an angel. You've seen? Someone from th the colony question mark? Oh, there is a map now. The map will be activated in designated areas. So you can check your current location and surrounding terrain. Sorry, play with my fan. Uh, to locate the target more easily. All right. I am here. Okay, so there's literally nothing over here unless there's like chests inside each of the rooms. Okay, so we have a quest here, which is, and then we have this one here, which is the one we're looking for. And then there's a conversation to be had over here, a bulletin board. 
Okay, and then that's the safe house with the tetrapod. Alrighty. Okay, there's a false right before we take the actual right. There might be some loot there. Just checking if I could do that in the city limits. So this is the false right. Keep calm and trust us. Attention citizens, what, we just stop the poster? Attention citizens, we have recently discovered that a certain organization is at large, which insults the Prophet Oracle's reputation and spreads falsified rumors about the Sentinels. Please, be informed that this organization's claim is not true. Citizens of Zion, do not be swayed by malicious instigators and put your trust in us. We, the Sentinels, promise to protect Zion's peace with our lives. Sentinel Captain Man is, I was about to say, is um, Adam a Sentinel, but we know he's a scavenger, so never mind. <gasps> your teddy bear's holding open the door? He's on a doorstop, sir. Oh, you need a bath. Forgive me. I was wrong. Oh my god, look at all the bears. It is all my fault. Okay. I'll take your word for it, sir. I can't loot you blind. It's fine. Probably find out you got your daughter killed or something. That sounded about right for the teddy bear situation. Wow. He's a great conversationalist. just buying uh, oh is this another can behemoth red <laughs> she's always so pleased uh something 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 brazil i kind of missed it oh she's adorable angels are rigged citizen of zion I came to know that these angels have databases that say that there's no such thing as Zion, that there are no survivors on the surface, and that the colony's sole purpose is the successful completion of the EVE protocol. This is proof that those angels are rigged and were created by someone other than Mother Sphere. It is impossible that the messengers of Mother Sphere are imperfect. They must have been sent by the Heaven's Royalty. What? Be wary of these angels and do not allow their presence in Zion for the sake of the city. O oh, Mother Sphere, I pray to you, forgive my unholy transgression. Francis. Okay, it looks like it's a lower level, but I can't quite get to it. Oh, never mind, there's a staircase here. The last gulp. Shall we go into the tavern? Hi. It's the angel. And? Don't bother me. Mind your own business. People are so unhospitable. Oh. Don't know what that was, but we got XP for it, and I am content with that. I like the color of your walls, though they could do with a repainting. Hello. How are you? What the? Oh. She's not real. She's very pretty. She's very, very, very pretty. Sunshine, my moonlight. Halt. This is a restricted area. I haven't seen you around Zion before. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. And you, you okay? time when this bar used to be full of people drink and drink now it's just so empty empty and dark and Enya same story I wonder how long she can keep singing 
with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. I'm trying to be sensitive, but if you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? Oh, Lily can fix her up. But I... I have no way to repay you. We just you. do this because we're nice. No, I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? Yes. Let's go save Enya. Looking at you. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Enya's injury is beyond what Zion's technology and equipment can handle. Talk to Lily at the safe house and find a way to help Enya. I've got you, Anya. Don't you worry, girl. I'll save you. Sue. Oh, you're Sue. Hi, Sue. I'll be back once I discuss this with Lily. We might need some, uh, items, dare I say? Something to repair her with? Your hair's going through the table, Eve. I didn't get XP for that. Out of curiosity, what does the short ponytail look like? Uh, gameplay, short ponytail. I'm not gonna lie, it looks more sensible. Might roll with that for a bit. I just, <laughs> it just, it breaks my immersion seeing it flop into everything, including her own body. So I'm just gonna do that and then change my mind later. Fresh smash. No cigar. Try a second time? Maybe you just gotta work it a few times. No, nothing's happening. Third time's a charm? You never know. Could just be waiting. No wait behind the bar? No. What's going back here? Thank you. I'm just stealing somebody's money. Oh well, isn't they dead anyway or not currently in circulation? The Zion number five. The cradle is operational. The safest of safest, the, blah, the safest of havens developed through hard work and determination for the good of all citizens. According to the decree, the sentinels will bring in the elderly and disabled first. The Sentinels announced that the final stages of the crater's construction will soon be complete and the moving process will begin shortly after. Loaded with 20,000 stabilization capsules, the crater is a facility that provides steady energy to its residents within a stable environment to prevent memory damage. In the city's current state, where power shortages are growing even worse, many see this as fulfilling the dual purposes of public safety and energy conservation. Prophet Orkel reconfirmed his safety-centric policy, stating, By my decree, I proclaim that the crater focuses on preserving memories. Zion has overcome many hardships thus far, and the hope is that the city can achieve a revival through the Prophet's insight and the unity of its citizens. I wish you the best of luck in that thought process. Yo. I should try the other way as well. Let's just do fully left in this little section, and then we'll do fully right in this little section. How about that? Best of both worlds. Nothing. Save you, save Zion. Cradle for your peace. Attention citizens, too. Sentinels are looking for potential residents for the cradle. Find peace in the safe cradle. Conserve your memory. And contribute to Zion's energy and resource, so, resource shortage. To dispel malicious rumors that Sentinels are forcing citizens into the cradle, potential cradle residents will have a meeting with the Prophet and be able to accompany the witness during the move-in process. <sighs> have your participation. We the Sentinels promise to protect Zion's peace with our lives. Sentinel Captain Man. <gasps> oh, so I am supposed to be destroying things. Okay. Liquor. Help wanted. Looking for help. Have a dangerous plan to go to the Solar Tower and the Great Desert. 
uncertain info, barren sandstorms, endless threats of latibas, can't guarantee a safe return. Trisha's and reputation as a scavenger obtainable upon success. Teddy, recruiting a team at the base camp of the Matrix entrance in the Grand Great Desert. I do not have the passcode. Ah. Oh. Okay. Guess not. Vote of truth. Funding announcement. Colony bound rocket. Our purpose. We, the proud team of Zion Rocketeer, have been working on the Vox Veritatis project to condemn the Heavens Royalty who have been benefiting from the blessings of Mother Sphere and send our long-awaited request to Mother Sphere. May we find salvation. The prophecy can't be fulfilled if we just sit back and wait for it to happen. Our team believes that through wisdom, courage and unity, we must reach out and take salvation for ourselves. Join us today. What will we do? The Vox Veritatis project was initiated to build a kerosene-based rocket which can travel to the geostationary orbit of Earth. Currently, our team is simultaneously working on the construction of the rocket, collection of fuel in the wasteland and great desert, and collection of fertilizer for the production of oxidizing agent. Note that all funds will be spent on purchasing necessary resources for the construction of the rocket. Contributor rewards. Tier 1. 200,000 gold or more. A ticket for Vox Veritatis. A clearance to upload unlimited data on Vox Veritatis' database. Tier 2, 50,000 gold. A special rocketeer go gear. A clearance to upload data for two people on Vox Veritatis. Tier 3, 10,000 gold or more. A special rocketeer gear. A clearance to upload data for one person in Vox Veritatis. Tier 4, 1,000 gold or more. A rocketeer badge. A badge. What are they going to do with a badge? So that is a way I can get through here, but it's not currently open. So I believe this will take me around though. <laughs> Hello. What? Who is it? A real angel? Huh? <laughs> I've only heard about them in rumors. It's nothing to do with me. Can you leave? I have nothing to sell you. I don't want to buy anything, sir. Weirdo. Oh, I can't use these machines. Whoopsies, sorry. Just killed that. Okay, so we need a core. I don't have one of those. Hmm. We'll... Cure you. Well, curse you? I can't see what it says. Curse, okay. Curse the Heaven's Royalty. I still have not had any uh, clarification on what the hell Heaven's Royalty is. Decades have passed since the final war, but we still suffer in this cesspit of monsters and sandstorms called the surface. Mother Sphere promised us salvation. She did not keep her promise. Did she ever send us an evacuation shuttle or a rescue team? Mother Sphere does not lie. This means there's another mastermind behind this injustice. And we all know who they are. I curse the heavens royalty. Judgment be upon those who hide in the colony, laughing at us for our misery. They deserve to be nowhere but in hell, for they twisted Mother Sphere's will. I mean, how do you know that? You're not even there. Another door I cannot get through. Almost half the time. Yeah, yeah. Again. Bend at the knees, girl. You're going to do your back a great service if you start bending. Okay. What about this one? Is this receptive? Hey. Mountain Sparkle Mont Blanc. Very frosty. I'm sorry. I have to laugh every time I see her expression. I've missed the quest. The quest must be downstairs. Is that so I can climb? Negative. Barker. I take that as a no. That is a no as well. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Let me just briefly do the other side first. One thing that's destructible, and now I try to kill everything, and not a single other thing works. Uh, you. By. You bigoted something? I don't know what it says. For you dimwits still believing in Mother Sphere. I'm Pierre, a citizen of Zion. Recently, I've come to pity those boneheads who still believe that Mother Sphere will save us all. If you truly believe it, then how come you don't even know what Mother Sphere actually is? May we find salvation. The phrase that we are all familiar with. <laughs> right. You numbskulls think Mother Sphere will save you from his hellhole, for she does not lie. You're dead wrong. When she said we, it doesn't mean you and me. It means humankind as an entire species. And my salvation and yours won't do crap for the salvation of humankind. Mother Sphere knows us, but she does not remember us. There's no need. As long as our species prevails, you and I are considered expendables. I might come off as a bit offensive, and I hope so, because I'm more offended by your religious babbling about Mother Sphere. You should all stop wasting time. Grab a flashlight, a wrench, a rifle, scavenge for resources, fix our infrastructure, and fight our enemies to ensure our survival. Sorry, I got a big pain in my head as I was reading that. What the hell? Where'd that come from? Oh, yay. This one was actually destructible. Hello. Your features are very indistinct uh, from this distance. Angel. I, I can't believe the angel is here. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. Uh, at least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm. Uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? Oh, no, no, no. You you can just take this. I like her hair color. I, uh... And she's a full head of hair. Help us. It's nice. O of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Oh, I like you. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I now? Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right, one day... I was out working in the scrap plains of the wasteland when I ran into some Natibas. I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What did you say your name was again? What's her name? That is not what I went to. Missions. Kaya. Okay, Kaya. I'll see what I can do. The Lost 72 Years 2. Once two. The Natibas invaded us after the declaration of a new humankind. How do you declare a new humankind? What? However, the exact reason for this invasion is still unknown to us. The final war took everything from us. Not a single grain of sand or a drop of water was left. Why did it happen? Since when did humankind have enemies on Earth? Did an extraterrestrial race appear to fight us? All we have is memory data claiming that we were extinguished by en mysterious enemies that appeared out of nowhere. I have considered many possibilities, and I came to the only possible conclusion. Mother Sphere thought it was the best that we didn't know about his enemies. Her so-called great will wiped our memories clean, and so we came to see the Natibas as an unknown threat. 
Interesting. So y'all lost your memory? That must have been annoying to find out. For sure. Oh. Good luck with that. Hello, smiley face. Can you give me the code? It's not that written on the box, right? That's way too many numbers. It's like five, five, zero, one, four, seven, one, two, six. But that's just too many numbers. How many numbers did you need, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yet yeah, that helps nobody. Could just be a phone number. Hello. Hello. Go away, Angel. If the news spreads that you're here, the Sentinels might come and take what's left. Can you not hear me? Hurry and go now. Wow. You're not very nice. Okay, is there any more? Yes, this is one more arm, and then we go left. like one big safety hazard. Extreme mono element. Oh, I thought that was Charlie Adore. Uh, there's food being cooked or fried and, and charred, but no one actually working here. It's a little concerning. Open your eyes. Zion Freedom Liberation Alliance for Lair. What is that? This is the XFLA. That doesn't really roll off the tongue. Citizens, open your eyes. Zion is full of lies. Orkel is faking everything and threatening our freedom. That crazy old man is manipulating the Natibas to terrorize us all. But we, as free citizens, shall never give in. I overthrow the false prophet. I overthrow the minions who call themselves Orkel's guards. I overthrow the sentinels who disregard the citizens' protection and merely maintain the system. Let's lead ourselves into a safer world. Zion Freedom Liberation Alliance, Representative Aaron. Aaron, you're a dick. I mean, I can't prove that you're wrong, but you're still a dick. Book of Faith and Wisdom, two, one to four. All wisdom is born here in this land. The Great Father designed Mother Sphere, and the Mother created us. Though the colony extinction left us among ashes and dust, remember that the providence and thesis, antithesis, synthesis. Okay. Mother Sphere is wise, and she will give us salvation in the crisis of impending doom. Therefore, we will do Mother Sphere's bidding on earth as it is in heaven. We will return to the cradle. Okay. No, this one here. This, this one. Blue book? She seems indecisive. Uh, this is part three. Natibus defeated us, and so the some remained on the surface, and some returned to the colony under orders from Mother Sphere. We still didn't know how she decided who stayed and who left. Those who returned to the colony were often called Heaven's Royalty, and became subjects of hatred. But as I wrote before, Mother Sphere is nothing more than an aggregation of knowledge and will. She doesn't favour one over the other. Everything she does is based on rationality alone. This may come as difficult to accept for some people, but that is another matter. We all faced hardships here on the surface. Strife and envy drove citizens to hate those who returned to the colony. This is much as clear. Citizens of Zion hate those who return to the colony because they believe they have been deprived of a life of comfort in the colony. After all, the colony is free of constant threats. But I can't help myself but wonder, is the colony really the paradise I think it is? Uh, I don't think it is. 
I don't know what it's like. Eve's not exactly spilling the beans, but I don't think it is. I don't know what the point of that is, other than to waste my time. How to speak with style. Do you think you are too serious? Do you think you can't lead a conversation? Then we suggest that you throw in a little joke to lighten up the mood. Example, what is my card's favorite meal of the day? The answer is breakfast. Ha ha. Seems like a great idea. I must try it when preaching to people. It was a lie. Men are too busy to alive, you fraud. I like how she doesn't even press like the actual button to get it done. She just taps and then kicks. Alright, so this was the corner. Yep, alright, let's start going up the left side. It's only, it's only left because I, I consider myself having gone down on the right side. Hi guys. <laughs> 